Guys, welcome back to the Dorky and 40 channel. I am Chad, and I got a new toy. Well, it's a used toy, but it's a very familiar old friend. I got a DJI Mavic Pro. Now, this is the third Mavic Pro that I've owned. I got the first one. Literally, I was one of the first people to ever get one. Pretty much why this channel got as large as it did. Of course, I would always like to keep it growing, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button like button down there. The fun factor and all that stuff kind of wore off and got rid of that. But then I got into 107, picked up another one, did a lot of 107 stuff, then that kind of died off too. But recently the 107 stuff has been heating up a lot lately around here and I needed to pick up something that would meet my needs. Now, of course, if I had the money, Mavic Pro 2 for sure, would love to have that. But the Mavic Pro, even though it's not developed really by DJI anymore, represents the best value that I think you can get in a drone to use in your 107 type of activities. Sure, it has its shortcomings. There's lots of workarounds though, for as far as the camera and this and that. It really just comes down to your needs. If I had jobs on a weekly or daily basis, but for the occasional call, this will fit the bill. I can do mapping, it's got OcuSync, which is super important to me, and the biggest thing is just the value. I got this Mavic Pro with batteries, a Go Professional water jet cutout case, charging accessories, extended antenna, a NanoSync uh, patch antenna, looks like that right there, all for the price of $500. Now, I sold both of my old Mavic Pros or way less than what I paid for them. It's just kind of the way things go. So finally, I feel like I've made out on the deal since I was able to pick something up and pay for it with a single job. The Mavic Pro is still just awesome, even though that is three years old almost. I think I got mine in like November of like 2016, so it's nearly three years old. And the Mavic Pro was, it was way ahead of its time in features and size. And we really never saw anything kind of put together that way until the Mavic Air, and even it was limited as far as not having OcuSync, things like that. Finally, last year, we got the Mavic Pro 2, we got the Mavic Zoom, we got OcuSync 2.0 and all that cool stuff. So the technology and everything is finally caught up. So besides the 107 stuff I've been doing with it, I've been actually having a great time with it personally. You guys that are familiar with my channel, see where I fly out here, a lot of farmland and stuff like that. It's been just real fun and relaxing just to cruise five, 10 feet off the deck, stop, take a look at something, see what's going on, check out wildlife, check out the crops. We've had a lot of rain and stuff like that this year. Do some just cool mapping missions and play around with all the features. It's just been a blast. There's all kinds of different modifications that are out there for Android users and stuff like that to like unlock certain things and hack your drone and do all that kind of stuff. I personally run iPhone and an iPad on it, so I won't be able to take part in much of that, but I am super impressed with what's going on with it. It flies better than it ever did before. Video is looking better than it ever has before because there's so much information out there now about ways to get better video out of the Mavic Pro. I'm not talking about best Mavic Pro settings videos or anything like that, but you know things like playing around with Premiere and adding certain filters, um, skipping ahead on frame and like uh, doubling your frames and stuff like that, doubling your flips so that way you kind of get rid of that DJI flicker that the Mavic Pro has with it. The autofocus issues, there's all kinds of cool things that you can do to get great footage out of it. My clients have been very happy, very impressed so far, and so have I. So let me know if you'd like to see some Mavic Pro stuff out there. And you know, if you're an FPV flyer, that's a casual flyer that has never owned a DJI product or would kind of want to get into something like that, I mean, the value is out there. You can find one pretty much just like I did or around the same price, maybe even a little cheaper with a few less options. So yeah, that's it guys. Hope you liked the little video here and look forward to maybe a few Mavic Pro videos and see what is new in that whole autonomous DJI world. So we'll talk to you guys later.